now in the next major landforms we will learn about mountains a mountain is a huge natural elevation of the earth surface that usually has a summit of a peak it is it is much taller and steeper than the area that surrounds it raised areas over 600 meters above the sea level are generally considered as mountains these mountains are generally four types first we will learn about fold mountain so when two tectonic plates collide their edge get compressed under pressure causing them to fold which forms these mountain range there are two types young fold mountain and old fold mountain young fold mountain formed 15 to 25 million years ago whereas old fold mountain formed 200 million years ago next block mountain so due to tension or compression folds uh, sorry fault or cracks develops in the earth surface when the two parallel faults occur the land in between slips down and forms a rift valley or graben the upstanding land on on the other side forms a um, block mountain then volcanic mountain these are forms when molten rocks lava and ash pour out through the cracks on the earth surface and accumulate and cool down then residual mountain these mountains made up of very resistant rock and remain standing despite erosion next we will learn the importance of mountains so the mountains determine the climate of a region mountains are home of rich variety of flora and fauna the mountain forests provide timber fuel fodder and other products mountains are also rich sources of minerals the scenic beauty of mountains attract tourists for their beauty camp, uh, camping as well as uh, adventure sports now next is plateau A plateau is a large area of raised flat land. Its height varies from several hundred to several thousand meters. Classification: Plateaus are four types. First, we will learn about intermountain plateau. These plateaus are surrounded by mountains on all sides. Example: Tibetan plateau. Next, Piedmont plateau. Now, these plateaus formed at the foothills of extensive mountains. It is surrounded by mountain on one side and by a plain or ocean on the other side for example patagonian plateau dissected plateau these plateaus have a irregular surface marked by canyons and steep narrow valleys formed by the process of erosion that is colorado plateau volcanic plateau these plateaus are formed due to the accumulation of thick layers of basaltic lava example the deccan plateau of india next the importance of plateau plateaus have rich minerals deposits in plateau area several land several waterfalls form when rivers fall from a height the rich black soil of volcanic plateau is rich in nutrients which is good for agricultural activities <clears throat> next plain so um, a large stretch of level or uh, level or flat uh, land is known as plain it can be slightly undulating classification first we will learn about structural plain they are structurally depressed areas so they are structurally depressed areas which are largely formed by horizontally bedded rocks example russian plain next depositional plain the the plains are formed by filling up of sediments carried by agents of gradation such as rivers glacier wind and underground water into depression and uh, or lakes are called depositional plain for example coastal plains of india erosional plain they are formed by the action of various erosional events that work to bring an elevated region close to the sea level for example prairies of north america next the importance of plain fertile soil good rainfall and irrigation facilities make the river plain suitable for agricultural activities good road and railway networks can be easily built in the plains they are also rich in minerals next we will learn about valleys so valleys are formed due to the disturbances caused by the movement of tectonic plates and the impact of natural forces like erosion and deposition they are low lying areas in between hills classification first we will learn about rift valley so due to tension or compression fault or cracks develop in the earth surface when two parallel faults occur the land in between slips down and form a rift valley or graben the upstanding land on on the other side forms 
block mountain in the diagram I have mentioned. So, the next is river valley. So, these are formed by the erosive action of water flowing uh, over the land. Many civilization of the past develop in river valley uh, in, in the river valleys for example, Brahmaputra valley. Next is glacial valley. It is formed due to melting of ice from the glaciers that is Grand uh, Canyon in, uh, in USA and flat floored valley. Uh, it is formed by the erosion of rivers and streams resulting in a flat floor across a large area of deposition example Nile river valley. The last is peninsula it is an, uh, it is a long uh, narrow piece of land surrounded by water on three sides and joined to a to a large landmass on one side example Indian peninsula next is island an island is a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides example Greenland and the last one is Isthmus. So, uh, Isthmus is a narrow strip of land connecting two big large uh, sorry connecting two big uh, land masses usually with water bodies on either side example Isthmus of Panama.